Hi, welcome to Stories Life. My name is Alex Fernandez, and in today's episode, we will be reviewing In the Tall Grass by Netflix. Hi, guys. Uh, welcome to today's episode. Um, again, last episode, I said this. I'm going to say it again real quick. There's an asterisk on this review because the expectation of this movie is not a fancy restaurant, okay? This is not... Um, this is not Joe's Stone Crab. I, I'm in, uh, I live in Miami, Florida. This is not Joe's Stone Crab. This is Red Lobster, okay? So I'm going to go to Red Lobster and I'm going to eat. And I'm, I'm not expecting to have the best fried chicken. Yeah. There's good fried chicken in uh, Joe's Stone Crab. This movie is about a brother and sister that are driving somewhere. And they park and they hear that there's a field of tall grass. And they hear a voice of a child who needs help and they go in to help the child and they can't get out it's a horror sci-fi plot comparables to this movie would be like triangle excellent movie uh, where um you're messing with time space and it's a horror but it's a sci-fi right and, and they get into a ship and she keeps kind of repeating the same story over and over again the Cube is another movie that it's like because it's another horror sci-fi and even though that one's in space or whatever, this one is kind of like the same type of plot where, hey, what is, what's going on here? It's like a mystery and they're trying to figure out what's going on and, and why are we here and why this is happening. So this movie in the tall grass is kind of like that, where it's like, okay, I'm in here. How do I get out? Why is this happening? Another movie this. uh that I thought about a lot while watching this is The Tall Man. And there's a, there's a couple things that are like it. I don't want to spoil anything, but if you've seen The Tall Man and you watch this movie, you kind of understand what I'm talking about. But it kind of reminded me of that, that type of movie. The Good. So for the majority of the movie, I was like, hey, what's going on? It had me like on the edge of my seat saying like, hey, uh, oh my God, what's got, why is this happening? Oh my God, look at that. And I was like, these, these questions kept coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. And you know, that's a good thing with this type of genre, with this type of, type of movie where, where you're, you find yourself asking all these questions and it kept me very interested uh, the majority of the time. Whoa, boy, there's a scene in this movie it's the scene of this movie and it's disturbing as F, okay? I love it. You know, when you watch these types of movies, you just want to have, you just want to be disturbed. You want to be violated. You want to be horrified. That's why we watch this. You know, horror movies are like hot sauce. They hurt, but they also feel good at the same time. Tension and suspense the whole time. Again, I was asking questions. You know, things kept coming up, coming up, coming up, and then all of a sudden, there was like a problem that I don't want to spoil, and then it's like, wow, what's going on with this kid? What's going on with this guy? What's going on with this? It, there's all these things happening, and I had, I was tense, I had suspense, and there was times of dread, and there was times of, you know, like I said, being disturbed, the bad. So the bad in this movie, uh, I would say, is that with all those questions that I had, some of them were unanswered. So the movie ends and I was like, okay, but what about this? What about that? What happened with this? You know, so there was a couple of questions that weren't, weren't answered. It's okay. It's not a, not a big deal. It doesn't have to be. Maybe there'll be a part two. The ugly. The ugly of this movie, which is not that bad, is that we had a lot of momentum with the plot. The plot was powerful, was strong. You know, it brought a lot of questions, right? And we were, we're moving, we're moving through this movie. But then as, we, as we're getting towards the end, it lost momentum, right? All of a sudden, uh, how can I say this without spoiling it? It, it's, it was kind of like, you kind of knew what the answers were. I was getting all my questions that were getting answered. I go, oh, but all you have to do is this. Oh, that's okay if that happens because I could always do this. So there was, I started figuring out answers 
because of the way the plot was uh, unraveling, you know, and it was like, eh, it's okay though, right? It's okay, but I guess that's the ugly. My verdict. You ever have a time in your life when you just want a perfectly cooked burger? Sometimes you go to a restaurant and you, you know, they're famous for their burgers. You ask for it for medium rare and it's well done. Or you ask for it medium and it's too rare. So this movie, right, this movie is like if I went to a dive bar, okay? And I just want my burger well, I want my burger done the way that I want it done. And if you could give me a juicy, medium rare burger, some home cut fries, not frozen, okay? Some ketchup, some mayo, and a nice cold, freezing cold beer, I'm happy because I'm not going to Joe's. I'm going to a dive bar and I just want to feel, I want to fill my belly with something good. That's what this movie is. This movie is not going to win an Oscar. It's not the greatest horror movie of all time, but it's going to fill your belly. You're going to feel satisfied. The burger that you ordered is correct and you're going to be happy. And that sometimes that's all we want. That's what this movie is. And for that reason, this movie gets a six. And that's a good thing. That's not bad. That's a good rating for this movie. That's all I got. Always remember, story is life. <laughs>